Hey everyone! Today on the show, I'm going to tell you all about something called Lomochrome. Intro. So, what's Lomochrome? Good question. Thank you for asking. Lomochrome is a type of film that was developed, I believe, in 2014 by the company Lomography, and it was designed to mimic the look, to a certain extent, of a film called Aerochrome. Now, you may be asking yourself, what's Aerochrome? Well, you can ask yourself that, but why not just ask me because I'm here and I'm more than willing to tell you what it is. Ah, I'm glad you asked. Aerochrome was a color infrared film that was used, uh, it was developed many years ago uh, by Kodak. And essentially what it does is, because it's a color infrared film, um, it kind of, it makes plants and plant life kind of glow sort of a uh, pink-ish, purplish, reddish color. And um, I think it was used by the military um, in some fashion, something to do with, um, you know, d detecting something with plants. I don't know. It was used in the, by the military in some way. I don't know. Anywho, it has regained uh, popularity uh, a few years ago because of a photographer by the name of Richard Moose or, or Richard Moose, Richard Mosse, I don't know. So Richard, Richard Moose um, went and documented the war in the Congo using this aerochrome film and it got some really interesting, very surreal results because of the way in which it turns plant life and foliage this odd sort of pink and red color and um, it got really sort of famous on the internet um, and I remember when I first stumbled across it it's extremely interesting the, the photography is just amazing the, the film is long discontinued and not very readily available so this photographer used it and it kind of catapulted it into the spotlight and made everybody go oh wow that's really, really cool, and I would love to shoot with that, myself included. I saw the imagery and I thought, holy crap, where can I get a hold of some of this aerochrome? Well, it's not easy to get a hold of some aerochrome. It's pretty difficult, actually, and from what I understand, it's actually relatively difficult to shoot with um, because you have to keep it at a certain temperature and blah, 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 blah. So anyways, Lomography saw that people wanted to shoot with this film and saw that they had no way to really do it. So they kind of did sort of a next best thing to bringing it back kind of a thing. They um, invented a film called Lomochrome. So Lomochrome Purple um, came out in, I believe, 2014. And um, it turns foliage kind of a purple color. And um, the way they did it is interesting. It's actually, um, it's not an infrared film at all. The way they did it was um, they kind of switched the way in which the color film dyes sort of interact uh, and form the final image and the negative um, so basically um, I was interested to shoot with uh, with Lomochrome and I still am um, but I've been getting frustrated with my inability to get a hold of any so I looked up how to duplicate the look in Photoshop and it's actually pretty easy it's just a uh, blue green channel swap um, and but interestingly they came out with another Lomochrome uh, called Lomochrome turquoise and in some ways it's even more interesting than Lomochrome Purple. I mean, they're both really cool looks, but Lomochrome Turquoise is pretty awesome. And so I wanted to get some and I noticed that it was actually a severely limited time release for the Lomochrome Turquoise. Uh, they had a plan for it to only be like a short run and now it's really difficult to get a hold of. It's extremely expensive on eBay and I'm like, damn it. So I looked up online um, if there was a way to duplicate in Photoshop the Lomochrome turquoise look and I couldn't find any information. So I had to figure out for myself how to duplicate the Lomochrome turquoise look in Photoshop because obviously it's highly unlikely I'm going to get a chance to shoot with that. The Lomochrome purple, maybe I actually will get a chance to shoot with that and I'll show it to you guys when I do. But the Lomochrome turquoise is just, it was a limited time thing, it's very expensive. So um, I figured out that it must be a channel swap. So I had to figure out which channels were swapped. Um, in this case, with the Lomochrome Turquoise, it turns out 
that it is a red and blue channel swap. So the red and the blue channels are swapped. So I found that interesting, which made me think, if they can do that, then couldn't they also do the one channel swap that they haven't done yet, which is red and green? And if they can, are they planning to? Is that something that they're working on right now? Something that they're trying to develop and that they will come out with? A Lomo Chrome as of yet to be named? Hmm, interesting. Okay, so we're in Photoshop. Um, I am shooting the screen with my camera. I have my camera on a tripod and I'm shooting the screen because I tried to use a software for screen capture called Cam Studio and it turns out that it is completely evil and even though it was recommended by other internet people on the internet, it is an evil software that puts viruses all over your computer. So I had to get rid of that and it's evil. Do not use Cam Studio. It is completely evil. Anywho, so anyways, here we are in Photoshop. And here is a picture of Guts Baby on some train tracks that I took recently with my Lomo LCA, which is a camera that I will that I that I actually plan to review in the near future. Um, so this was for my very first roll of film with the LCA, and I basically this is what the picture looked like, uh, the the straight scan, and then the only thing that I've done thus far in Photoshop is to boost the contrast. So, in order to duplicate the Lomo Chrome looks, I'm going to duplicate my layer again. And then I'm going to go to Image, and I'm going to do Auto Color because the color is completely off on this scan. So, there we go. Okay, so that's more like it. So, I'm going to then duplicate this again. And again. And again. Now this first duplication, I'm going to simulate the Lomo Chrome Purple. And in order to simulate the Lomo Chrome Purple, all you have to do is go to Image, Adjustments, Channel Mixer. Okay. So what you basically do is you switch the blue and the green channels. So you go into the green, you take the 100%, and you put it down to 0%. And then you change the input to... All right. Then you go to the blue, change that to 0%. Change the green to 100%. And that's basically how you duplicate the Lomo Chrome purple look in Photoshop. Okay, so now that we've simulated the Lomo Chrome Purple, the next one we're going to simulate is the Lomo Chrome Turquoise, which is another film that I have not gotten to shoot with. So here we are in the channel mixer. So this time we're going to switch the red and the blue channels. So we're in the red. Put in zero. Then we go down to the blue. Put in a hundred. Okay, then we go to the blue, and we put zero for that one. And then in the red, put 100%. And there you go. That's the Lomo Chrome Turquoise look. Now, I am essentially going to go out on a limb and speculate, because um, basically these are just channel swaps. So for the Lomo Chrome Purple, we switched uh, the the green and the blue channels, and for the Lomo Chrome Turquoise, we switched the red and the blue channels. Um, I think, I predict that Lomography is actually going to come out with a film that switches the red and the green channels, because it's possible to do so, and so why wouldn't they go for it if they made the Lomo Chrome Turquoise? So I'm actually predicting a film that doesn't exist yet, that I'm assuming they're probably working on right now. So basically here we are, we're in the red, go to zero, the green, 100, whoops, did it too much, did a thousand. That's not necessary. Okay, then we go into the green, and we go zero, and the red, 100. 
So, that's an interesting look. It tends to turn skin tones green um, and skies kind of purple. I'm thinking that they might call it the Lomochrome Green or the Lomochrome Alien or something. I, I have no idea. Um, I don't know. Lomography, if you want to hire me, I'll, I'll give you some, some names for some stuff. But, um, so this is my speculative uh, Lomochrome film that they're going to come out with next. Um, I'm assuming... This is basically all speculation on my part. I have absolutely no idea. But if they can do it, they probably will do it because they did it already with the Lomochrome Turquoise and the Lomochrome Purple. So I don't see why they wouldn't go ahead and do another um, film where they swap out the various uh, dyes and the various ways in which the color is made and um, turn everyone green. So. That's Lomochrome Purple, Lomochrome Turquoise, and Lomochrome Green? Lomochrome question mark? In Photoshop. Um, when I eventually do get my hands on some actual Lomochrome film, I'll definitely do a review of it on here and show you guys the results. Um, and uh, yeah. So until then, it's been fun. Uh, subscribe and find me on the internet. I am all over the damn internets. I'm on the Facebook, the Instagram, the Twitter, the Tumblr, everywhere. DeviantArt, I'm on there too. Yeah, all of it. And I'm on Lomography.com. I have a Lomo home, as they call it. So yeah, check that out. And uh, see you next time.